I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Okay. You there, Skip it. No, I can't. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Oh, you can yell at her. Back on. <laughs> Bastila, but out. If this. Oh, I, I wish. Alright, go away. So. The very first time I ever played this, I got. I had no idea where Bastila went after that. I was like, uh. And I literally walked around for about 15 minutes before I figured out I just take a left. I think you could have gone to the map, too. Yeah. <laughs> But I was too ah, stupid back then. So when I was you like, are the one who rescued uh, Bastila. Probably under ten years old. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. All right. What's going on? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. What? Really? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Uh, I love how you can, the option of lie. <laughs> uh, Traditionally, the Jedi do say. not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Basil fucking killed Bastila, the Dark Lord. What are you so scared you and of? your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Fine, I guess. More nightmares. Poor, poor player character. The oh, dark Malik before his face got all mangled. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk?
This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. All right, you let's go. So you can take people with. I'm going to take oh wait, uh, Chewbacca and Candorous for now. I'm going to fix that. I just want to take um, the Chani Ritual Band off of Chewbacca and put it onto Candorous. And then I'm going to switch Chewbacca out of the party and bring Karth. Much more fun dynamic. Karth will yes, talk. Exactly. I'm going to blow through this, guys. Basically, he wants... He's just scared he's getting trying to delve into it deeper and there is a much deeper story but what we really want to go check out is this air attack mercantile right long story short he's selling stuff <laughs> don't know why it's gotta be a long story he sells some nice stuff too like this gun right here does one through eight energy damage one through six ion damage versus droid it does 19 through 20 critical hit times two and the attack modifier plus three it's also upgradable it's pretty good. And it's not the best, but it's pretty good. The CNS Strength Enhancer. How much do they want for that thing anyway? 8,000. But then there's there's also this. Uh, this utility belt. Computer use. Demo. Repair. And security. Plus three in all of it. That's pretty good. I like the stories on the stuff too. That's okay. Awareness plus one's lame. But this CNS Strength Enhancer. It's plus two strength. And it's plus two to all saves. Yowza, yowza, yowza. I want that. I'm now going to sell stuff because I'm never going to come here ever again. I'll sell him all the clothes just to get it out of my inventory. Combat suits, heavy combat suits, military suits, full for shock, successive electric dildos that I'll never use. I'm keep those. Sell. Sell all these blaster pistols. Sell all these heavy blasters. All right, I'm trying to get some money back. Pistol on rifle, I'll keep that. Sell. Keep his weapon, it's not bad. It's 2 through 11 for a repeater, it's pretty good for a heavy repeater. Critical is okay, and then it's upgradable. Uh, blast rifle, don't need that. Don't need any of these. Probably never use sonic grenades. But... Alright. We can also sell some of these mines. Okay. I just wanted to just get back. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that on. It's not going to do a whole lot to me right now because I'm not using melee, but I'm about to be, so. Bang, bang. Off we go. Yeah. Oh, car. Uh -huh. Okay. Use that real quick. He gets a new attribute. He gets strength or intelligence. Uh, well, since I don't have. I've never had Karth use a melee weapon. I didn't realize he had so much strength. But we're going to do intelligence. That's going to get him most extra skill points. Look, now he has two. Beats. We're going to master him out on the dual wielding weapon, which is pretty cool because look at that. He's got plus 10 to hit. That's really good. Sure. All right. And now we can go back to the council chamber. You can also explore the counts, the, the, uh, the enclave a little bit if you want, but we're going to do that later. This is the way out. And up here is some other stuff that we'll handle a little later on in the game. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps there are more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. I don't know what Bastil's talking about. <laughs> you could say that. See, this honesty. We are taking an incalculable risk at even How considering you know? training this one. You cannot deny what you are. These dreams are part of you. The Force is part of you, though a part you cannot yet control. But through training and discipline, we can teach you to live as one with the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, 
Azadax through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are we you and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Uh, again, you can lie if you really want to. I'm just messing around now. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla share. Perhaps. Okay. Long story short, they want you to start training. Before. We must begin your training at once. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in uh, weeks I'm amazing. many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Uh, what must I do? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. All right, let's, uh, let's get these tests These over with. tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Okay, so this actually is... Oh, I get dark side points, damn it. Um, so you can go to... One of the other masters and they'll teach you the code. Greeting. You can just say, I'm ready to continue. I'm ready for the test. There. And he's going to ask you, there is no emotion. There is... Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. There. Let's do this. Peace. The Knowledge. Serenity. <sighs> there is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies there. well. Damn it, I'm such an idiot. I didn't see this. It will not be long, but the, the and now it is. Okay. Now it's time to pick your lightsaber, which also picks your class. Uh, so there's three classes. 
there is the Jedi. I don't know. Is it Knight? I think it's Knight. That is basically the soldier version. They get some really cool abilities, like a jump from like really, really far away right to an enemy. It works really well with Scoundrel. So you can basically jump attack some guy from really far away from behind and get your Scoundrel, Scoundrel's luck damage or sneak attack damage. Um, a lot of people do Scoundrel, uh, Scoundrel gu Guardian. That's what a Jedi Guardian. Uh, the next one is the uh, Sentinel, which is yellow, which is what Bastille is. And then there's a Jedi Counselor, who is very Force power based. And it's the same thing, like, right? So Guardian is um, feet and, and feet based, so they don't get as many Jedi powers. They get a lot of feats. Um, Sentinel is kind of a mix, and then Counselor is a sh boatload of force powers ah you have come you the yes 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 blue is the color of the jedi guardian this jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side they focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber yellow is the color of the jedi sentinel this jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice bringing it to light they focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities green is the color of the jedi consular this Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Uh, I want to be So he's going to give you a bunch of scenarios. You pick the one that you think aligns with you the most, but if you know the, what you want, anyway, so help them flee, attack the thugs, stop the thugs, find out why they're attacking. It's pretty Jedi consular e. Hmm. Indeed. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Attack him again, find out why he turned, try and turn him back, find a weakness to take. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first... The final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Coordinate with the planetary yes, government. I thought it. As I suspect, which color and path? Uh, give it the here. Go, you get it, cool. You get your level, you get your skills. Notice your talent points reduce quite a bit. And also, now do. I don't know why I was focused on security this whole time. Points into that. All right. Feats. You get new feats as a Jedi. You get weapon proficiency, lightsaber, and Jedi defense. Force focus, Jedi sense, force sensitive. All right. Cool beans. So, you can get my last point of this. You get lightsaber. Um, what is it? Force sensitive. Jedi training affects Padawan uniquely, allowing them to blah, blah, blah. You get 40 additional force points to the character's base total. Cool. Um, Jedi Sense. Jedi develops connection to force that allows him to have a better sense of incoming attacks. His feet grants plus two defense and is always active. Jedi uh, Force Focus is a Jedi Counselor specific. This feat adds plus one to the difficulty class for all saving throws against the Jedi's force powers. Nice. And this one's only for the main Jedi character. Okay. You still get dueling if you want, which we probably will later i'm gonna finish up and get master toughness now so you get powers i'm gonna get effect and dominate mind with my first points that's gonna give me an extra dialogue option as well huh anders also leveled up get him done So now you go back to Master Czar. Ah, good. Now that you have selected. And you're gonna go build your lightsaber. Cool, you get this pretty one. You have no other things, so can't do that. Assemble, and boom, we got a lightsaber, guys. We're 
You have done it, Peter. He tells you you can basically find crystals uh, on Tantwing, but they are very rare. Blah, blah, blah. Are you? I'm ready. Eat the, the, I, the, okay. So basically, he's like, uh, there's this. Also, I need to. Okay. Let's get some stuff done real quick here. Strength gauntlets. So you'll see, I have this this strength enhancer. If I take it off, I lose a point of damage. Over here, two to sixteen to one to fifteen. Yeah, every two strength is more damage. We are ready to move on out. Mosey on out here, boys. So if you remember, like I said, straight across is your way out. Oh, uh, you gotta talk to the drone. The council has the council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Let's go, Karth. Haul ass, buddy. Now we can. There's a couple people you want to talk to out here. Nemo, Karth, yes. God, every time, dude. I... Just butt hurt. I mean, we can go to the journal and if you're really interested in Karth. It's obvious Karth is emotionally scarred by the betrayals of friends and allies at the start of the Sith War. There's probably more to the story, but he doesn't want to discuss it. Basil has told you she sees the sign of the Force. Candorous. He's told you a little bit about himself. He told you the Great War is a long Probably talk to Candace again right now. Yeah, what are you? I was in the. Yeah. His stories are actually really cool. They're just long. And the. So, I like to read this rather than that. Kind of told you, but it's like to drop through an atmosphere in one of the Mandalorian Basilisk war droids. From what he said, they must have been fearsome weapons. He would probably tell you more stories. You can talk to him later. He probably would. Alright, so we're going to talk to Nemo. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? Uh... The council has told you nothing of the grove. Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The grove can be found to the south and east in the... Is there some... Uh... No, so Nemo's kind of cool dude. You can talk to him a bit. He leaves. Soon. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume... Uh, so this guy's asking if the Jedi are ready to hear him. I love to say, yeah, they're ready to hear right now. Stay here. Yes, dear. He goes, <laughs> he goes, and his wife's just like, oh, I, I hope, hope he's the back Jedi soon. Council will listen to this Dom. guy got are you his a Jedi? Uh, family How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Okay, well, that's easy. So. 
There, uh, you want to talk to Elise over here as well. Greetings, young dude. She's gonna tell you about her companion I, I, who's missing. Uh, well, yes, it could and have. Basically, you find no out it's a droid His that she's um. Well, but she's he's, very, he's, very he's, close to. <laughs> the dialogue is. is gee, you live alone with this. What? What exactly did you use it for again? A personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I. What happened to the I'll send him back to you. And then there's um, Adam Larp. So he's got a whole spiel. Long story short, he's selling things. There are some amazingly important things to get here. There's the $15,000 Cassus Vet Battle Armor. It does 10 defense, uh, zero bonus to dexterity. It's got damage resistance against cold, fire, and sonic, and it's fully upgradable. This thing is awesome. It's basically Boba Fett's armor. Okay. Additionally, he has something else, doesn't he? Thought he had something else that was really amazing, but this is it, I guess. Fifteen thousand. You need to get that for the end of the game. can keep going up there and there's a whole bunch more to fight, but we're gonna go in the Metali grounds. Alright, so here's our first encounter with some of the Mandalorians that murdered the guy's family. You've been holding out on this kid. If you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you. No, please! Take my wife and children instead! Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. What a piece of garbage. Alright, so, we go over here and murder these guys. He goes down. You just loot him. Blaster carbine. Backpack here. Continue on and keep moving. Alright, so here is the Metale Estate. We're gonna skip that for right now. You can't get in anyway. I'm not really skipping it. Get in. Um, but it does become pertinent later in the game, I think. It's one of the two big families living on the remote farm, uh, you know, lands, and um, they get into kind of a little family scruffle. So everyone's gonna fight this thing. Here, since I'm a scoundrel and I'm a freaking counselor, I'm useless. In that. Super weak. So it's good to say behind everything that I get my, you know, sneak attack. That helps quite a bit. 
Go. Good stuff. Yeah, just try and split them with Kandra. Easy peasy. Uh, there should be some more over here. There are indeed. I'm actually going to control the cameras. Easier for him to turn stuff around. Hang on one second. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Next one, we will um, go ahead and cleanse the grove. We will do uh, we'll do the Mandalorian side quest. We'll also do the Crystal Cave side quest. And if there's a little bit of time after that, we might get into the... Um, there's kind of a fun side quest where we, where we solve a crime. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.